Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got the Royal 10 on the bench, and I just actually did a whole bunch of work on this machine, including I replaced the draw band down here. Right there. I got a new draw band. And I usually just wind these mainsprings by hand. But this machine does have a worm gear that you can use to tighten or loosen the draw band. And it's not in a normal spot. Royals had usually back in the back, they had a spot back here. You could see the worm gear. This one is hidden underneath this cover, or not even underneath this cover, in that hole right there. So, if you were to stick your screwdriver down in here, you'd feel a slot, and you can turn this, and that tightens or loosens the draw band, or not the draw band, but the mainspring, which is connected to the draw band. So that turns. So I've got this cover loose so we can see what we're doing down here. And what it is is that screw right there, and that turns that gear inside of there. That turns that spindle, this screw is connected to this screw which is connected to the draw band or the mainspring core right there. So if we turn this, let's just see, if we turn this clockwise, the band is actually getting less tension. So you can see I put a line on this right here. So you can see that's turning that way. So it's turning which would loosen the mainspring. So counterclockwise on this screw up here tightens the draw band tension. Tightens the mainspring. Because that way, when this, this is turning counterclockwise down here, that's tightening the draw band. So counterclockwise up here tightens the draw band mainspring clockwise loosens the mainspring. So we'll see if I can remember that. I guess I'm going to put it on video so I'll be able to reference that without having to uh, take a look myself. So counterclockwise with the screwdriver tightens the mainspring. Okay, that's my quick video on mainspring tensioner on a Royal Standard Typewriter. Phoenix Typewriter, good day.